Hi everyone, my name is Kelly and I'm a Solutions Architect at Castle. In this video, I'm going to discuss how you can detect and stop account takeover activity with Castle. First, let's simulate a quick ATO scenario. Here we have an application called Piggy Bank and an existing user account, Johan at Castle.io. We're starting off here on this Chrome browser on a Mac device coming from a US IP. Let's log in to Johan's account. You'll see right off the bat, we're logged in without any problem. For the purpose of an ATO scenario, let's actually log out. And here on the left is a device emulator. Let's switch devices onto a Firefox on Windows, and we can switch geographical locations as well. Now that we're coming in on a different device, we can try to access Johan's account from there. You'll see now that Castle initiates a 2FA flow and actually stops the user from proceeding unless they're the account owner and can complete the challenge. Looking at this command line interface, this shows us what's actually happening in the background. With this login event that's sent to Castle, you'll see Castle detected a number of risk signals, escalated the risk score, and then recommended a challenge action on that login attempt. Let's see what sort of information is actually shown from the dashboard. If we go to the Castle dashboard and check out the events view, we'll see a number of recent events. From this events view, we can add a column to look at the policy action. And you'll see there's a number of recent logins and one was challenged. While this view can show all of the raw data tied to that specific event, including the risk information we've detected, the device information, the IP information, we can also click into the user to see a specific user-based view of what's been going on. From this view, we can see any devices that have accessed this user's account, including the legitimate device and the device that tried to take over the account. The ATO device here is escalated in score, and we can not only see the order of events that happen, but also the risky behaviors that were executed by the person on this device. While Castle already challenged the event and stopped the login attempt from proceeding, if you want to relay feedback to Castle to inform the device was in fact malicious, you can go to this device's screen, select that device and report it. You'll see upon doing that, the score is escalated and this essentially kicks off feedback to our models and also ensures the device is flagged going forward. With Castle in place, you can stop and detect all sorts of ATO activities just like this one. And the dashboard will be your central repository for this type of data. So the investigation and review process is extremely easy. If you haven't tried out Castle yet, head over to our website at www.castle.io and sign up for a free trial. Thanks.